Advanced target threats are a reality that organizations need to address. Security Arp provides a simulation of APT attacks as part of its penetration testing and red team services, and in this example, the target was a defense contractor. The scope of the attack included the company website and freely available information on the company and its employees. The methodology used by us follows the penetration testing execution standard model and includes preliminary work on intelligence gathering, a threat modeling that is specific to the organization, the actual penetration test, and finally an exfiltration test. When approaching the public website vector, only basic findings were identified and analyzed. After concluding the public website attack vector, we moved on to the APT simulation vector. As mentioned before, the first step in the methodology is to gather intelligence on the target, which in this case was limited to open source intelligence using social networks and public websites. At this stage, we have also identified a conference in which the target was involved with, as well as additional market vertical data that was relevant to the organization. Using this information, we have crafted a spear phishing email that targeted specific individuals in the organization. The message included pretexting that's relevant for the chosen targets and correlate closely with the conference. The email was sent from a domain that has been type squatted based on the conference's public website domain. And the links in it also refer to the fake domain name. By simply using a lowercase l to mimic the capital letter I, we managed to create enough similarity that would help us in convincing the targets to respond to our attack. We've set up a website that effectively mirrored the conference website on our newly acquired domain name and weaponized it with malicious code. The code was built using publicly available tools to emulate the capability of the threat community that has been identified in the threat modeling. It only took four minutes from the moment we sent the email to the point where one of the targets acted on it and has been fully compromised. The target in question is in a management position, which allowed us to have access to highly sensitive communications, any activity performed on the PC, full access to the corporate network, and any material on the local PC, including private keys and sensitive documents. Additionally, key logging of the target reveals more sensitive information and can be used to acquire additional passwords. At this point, the target is fully compromised and the organization is exposed to data leakage that would have had major financial and political implications at an international level. In order to better grasp the meaning of these last four minutes, let's take a look at the timeline leading to the compromise. The initial intelligence gathering started more than two weeks before the actual attack. In the first week, the main focus was pure intel gathering and cross-correlation of multiple data sources to build accurate profiles on the organization and potential targets in it. A week before the attack, the industry conference started and was added to our analysis in terms of additional data gathering and news feeds that were relevant to the organization. At this point, we've started to narrow down on a few individuals in the company that would be targeted by us. Four days prior to the attack, the actual attack plan has been decided upon and final correlation of the available sources was performed to ensure maximum accuracy in our attack vector. Two days before the attack, the phishing domain has been acquired and the conference website has been analyzed and cloned. Shortly afterwards, the malicious attack code has been selected and a payload that would act as a Trojan was created. On the day of the attack itself, the phishing domain and website were brought online early in the morning and the spear phishing email was crafted a few hours before the planned launch time. At 1300 hours, a test for the full cycle of the attack has started in order to make sure that no loose ends were left. The test was announced to be successful at 1330 and the actual attack email was sent on 1349 to the list of individual targets. At 1353, the target has been fully compromised, proof of concept data has been acquired and the attack has been halted to prevent further infections. This concludes our webcast for now. For further information, feel free to contact us using the details on the screen.